everyone, it's Edo4 back at it again with another video. I hope you enjoyed my last video of the episode of Talking Fun with Edo with Zip Quickly of the Q&A because I have another surprise for you of something special for Zip Flicky. So here we go. So Zip, so the thing that's coming out very soon is my mom's 61st birthday. And oh. yeah, and for also another group that started around the same time, not not when my mom was born, but they it's started about age around. Range. Huh? I think about age range. I think she, I think if I remember she was third 40, 40, 39, something like that. I, like mm -hmm. I said, my editing self will check for this, but right around this time, and the group is called Flame. So mm -hmm. this group started like in 2001 on her birthday from I believe 2008 or 2015. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you have like a message for her for for her birthday coming up happy birthday monica i hope you have a great day um you are still young you're still in your prime we you are going to laugh a long very long time just that you know um you know take care of yourself on this day this day is a is a giving to, on earth your son is doing the best that he can <laughs> Your son is doing the best that he can. And we as 30-year-old millennials, we appreciate our older parents for giving us the wisdom and taking the time out of their day to help us when needed. Sure, you guys are tough on us, but we respect you and love you regardless. So wow. happy birthday. That's nice. And so with that, here is the surprise for you. So to celebrate your late 30th birthday, and since you were born in the year of 1994, and four mm. is my favorite and lucky number, I do understand it's cursed in their language, but I think it's the way you say it. Like if you say it in the way that sounds like dying, it's cursed. But if you say it in young, then it means it's not cursed. So mm. with that, I'm going to be sharing you four things from... Um, well, not things, but four topics from your birth year from Japan. So the ah. first thing we're going to start off with is manga. So the mangas that was released from your birth year was Kodacha and Detective Conan. Yes, of course. And 10 years later for their celebration, that is when they got their anime release mm -hmm. in 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 English and two Denise years case from and, wait I'm sorry what Detective Coden is the English version for case closed yeah case closed yep that's correct and two years later from that time is when they got their animation adaptation and also on that note it was done but not really completed from both the same company of Funimation which. We're going to get to them a little bit later. Not really as a hot topic thing, just, you know, just something of celebratory. So, mm -hmm. for if you you remember the show Kodacha, right? Yeah. So, do you remember, like, the one part in the show where uh, there was a show within a show where it had the teacher talking to the main character, Sana? Yeah. So, the that person is actually a i don't know if it's for the japanese version uh for the voice actor but this person's actually a real japanese actor of samasan he's a comedian mm. and this is a shout out to that kodacha girl and mm. uh the thing that they were doing it was based off a real show he was doing that was called uh samasan university that's the translation and it was from 1991 to 10 years of 2001 and basically mm -hmm. the show was where he you know talks to uh students that are in pre-k and sixth grade about like life and stuff mm -hmm. and i'm not sure which character from the real life show that sana was represented from the you know the japanese show if anybody knows please comment down below 
But um, one of the person I it's it's pro it's not, this person isn't related to Sana in the show. Um, her name is Maida I, and uh, from her work is not only from with her sister Aki was um Battle Royale, uh, Genius Tensai Televikun, and the real live action drama version of the before the animated series of Ghost Stories. Oh no! No, no, no! It's just I'm saying the the real life version. It's this is before the anime and the, I, the dub of Ghost I, Stories. I I feel it's like I feel like we're gonna have to skip the hot topic for that. We're, yeah, we're gonna have to skip the hot okay, 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 <laughs> okay. okay. We deep, are, we are, we are. We, okay, I can I go you. into deep with, with Ghost Stories. Don't get me wrong. I am I'm a very I'm kind of a very big fan of the dub. And I know how hilarious it is and how controversial it is. So yeah. there's but, a story. There's a story within that, but I guess we'll have to save it for next time. Yeah. So we're gonna now, speaking of which, we're gonna move on to anime. So the anime that was coming out during this time, the year you were born, was uh Tonneburi, which is like the pig version of Sailor Moon. And Little Red Riding Hood Cha Cha. I think I've heard Little Red Riding Hood Cha Cha before. Yeah, it was a girl that is uh, a magical girl that's trying to get into school, and I believe Ria is played by, excuse me, one of the members of SMAP. Mm -hmm. And what there was like the there were and still I probably say to this day they're still big. And speaking of which. Those two shows did get an English version, but it's only like in the Philippines, and they're both of those shows they're very rare to find. You'd be, you'd be very to oh, but you'd be very surprised on how I would find that. It's funny because now I have pressed the I button looking for what what you were talking about. You'd be very, you, <laughs> I actually am going to add something in there now, like just oh. like. <laughs> Where I become really, really tiny. Uh, whenever I press the I button on my keyboard, I become really, really tiny. So I can go like this. Nice. So, and I can add a... something to it. Nice. Yeah, and we see the go. whole PT reform. Yeah. Nice. So speaking of English versions of anime, there was two that was released in your birth year, which was Viz Media and Funimation. Recipes to Funimation too, man. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, they got bought up by Country World, and then... Yeah. <laughs> so, the Can next thing... 30 years later. Yeah, I know that. That's, that's, a, sad, that's a crazy truth. It's just like, yo, like 30, it's like, y'all gonna do this to them on the 30th year? Come on. It's okay. <laughs> so, the second to last thing we're gonna move to this list is mm -hmm. music from Japan. And there is a singer that is named Ryoko Shinohara from mm -hmm. Tokyo Performance Doll. And then from my TNC Bombard report, um, the member Asuka was in that group, but it was like a different version called Osaka Performance Doll. Mm -hmm. and, um, she released her fourth single that became one of her iconic songs of all time that is translated as This Love pain strength of my heart it became number one and even the soundtrack to the movie street fighter 2 do you remember what song it was from your birth year hold on give me like one sec you're telling me street fighter 2 give me like i had to i had to literally run down the list pretty quick i do i am running down the list pretty quick i'm just like okay he's a street fighter okay street fighter 2 I only know, remember like stage music. Are you talking about the ending for it, or are you talking about the opening? Uh, probably more. It was like the fighting scene in the movie. I believe they put it in there, and there was a commercial for it too. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, I'm not sure if you remember. If you don't, you don't mind if I sing it to, to you, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Dun 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 I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. I don't know the name of it, but I know the melody. It's like a horror memory in my head. That's the song they played that for that movie. And this was one of her 
I would believe one of her popular songs of all time. And even I'm not like there's um I believe they now have this in Japan, which is called the Mass Singer. And oh. I think she I was know. I think it's her singing that song. I'm not sure, especially because to find the episode, I think, like I said, I'll probably put an edit note if it happened or not. But yeah, that was one of like the iconic songs of your birth year from Japan. Mm -hmm. That's not the only thing, because the other stuff we have for the list is TRS, TRF, Biz, Mr. Children, Dreams Come True, Super Monkeys, that is AKA Amuro Namie and Max. And lastly, the also most popular song of 94 of your birth year was from SDP, AKA Sacha da Par, with Konya wa Boogie Back. This is literally their one of their most popular songs, and it was released in your birth year. Interesting. So, Oh, yeah. And the last thing that was also released music wise is I'm not sure if you heard of them, but and they were also born the same year as my mom. Mm -hmm. They're two comedians and they're called Downtown and they released a music variety show from your birth year up until 2012 called Hey, 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 Music Champ. That's also sound familiar. It's like a core. It's a core. It's like a core anime memory. And it's like they just they interview like everybody. They interview people from Japan and internationally as well. Mm -hmm. So the last thing we got on this list for your birth year is gaming. So the things that were released in your birth year was the very first PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and the edutainment system from Bandai called Playdia. I got a few other things. Uh, let's see, because I remember what is it? Son I think it's Sonic and Knuckles three came out at the same year as well. Hmm. Okay. Wow. So oh. I am. I am a very old Sega Genesis gamer. Um, uh, I did collect all of the Sonic games, so I'm aware of like basically from 1991 to current year. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Sega CD had barely came out at the same year. I so <laughs> weird to say when you get hand-me-down stuff from your like older siblings, uh, you do pay attention. I did pay attention a lot to the credits and everything and what year it was made. And I was very it, I was very happy to know that Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic and Knuckles was the year um that my stuff came out. Yeah. Um and then the PlayStation 1 did come out as well. So when I was like, I think about seven years old, I got my brother's PlayStation. I played Final Fantasy VII. So I do have core like gaming memories in a sense. So I am, I'm, I'm fully aware what came when it came to that year. It came out. It was it was a magical year for me to be born. I guess like one of the last things that we got for this is going back to Playdia is. Especially there's some uh, some photos of like the people that were re reviewing it. And most of the commercials, it was done by, she is a singer and an actress named Yumi Arachi. And I would say like the way they did the commercials, like if I was a kid or something like that, wanting, I probably would want to play Dia. And it was like the games they had was... Um, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, Hello Kitty, and etc. And it was it was like a it's oh I'm sorry, excuse me. It was like an early point and click game, and at the mm. same time it was like a VCR. And it was like what and, and it's like when I looked at the reviews, it's like this failed? It was shocking. It it couldn't compete with Sega and PlayStation, but it's like it exists. So mm. Yeah. Now, the question is, you got the year right, but do you know any information about the, like, so remember, my birthday is in February. February. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun part. Everybody's just like, oh, <laughs> we know your year, but it's just like, I'm more of a month person. <laughs> so, I really do like horoscopes. I really do like, um... Uh, so, so uh, specific. 
My sister yeah. like that too. I'm very into horoscopes. I'm very into like again that that's something interesting that you brought up. I'm just like, uh-huh. hmm, you picked the letter four, which is funny because mine is actually three. It's actually my lucky number. Hmm. Um, I think everything uh, everything falls on the line with me on threes. Yeah. Uh, then I consider like, okay, what fun facts do you know about my birthday in February? Right. That yeah. the entire year go by month. And it's more interesting when you narrow it down to that point. Right. Um, you get further <laughs> deeper and learn a lot more. So now that you did that, I'm more curious about how much Japanese Japanese anime were released during that year. Because you know, like nowadays we have seasonal anime. Right. I want to know what the seasonal anime was for February. Ooh, February. Uh, okay. That's a great question for you too. What is your birth? month and the birth year what released that year and what season did you get so that's a question for you you gotta ask in your next one okay well i'll at least answer um the thing i'll at least do and probably i'll probably put this for like um like on the sidebar like of um the when i edit this Mm -hmm. is um for my birth year and my birthday was like april the 28th and the thing that came on that time was uh, Detective Conan, mm-hmm. and it was the it was the episode with the um I'm not sure if you remember it. It's the one with the harmonica, and it was where the beam fell down on somebody. That was that was released on my birthday, mm-hmm. and um I believe when the English version caught on to it, I think they either did it in later in. 20 years ago of 2004 or the beginning of 2005 but yeah wow month (laughs) it's Mm -hmm. it's like i would say a lot of stuff i have said for the most part has been year in your year but it's definitely like later it was like this stuff was happening later yeah no i'm a more of a early bird so like with things that were coming out during the year i was born for it um but if you go with the exact mud, you're making me very curious about them. It's just like, what came out during that mud, right? I also did the same thing. Um, trust me, when I'm on Instagram, I'm on Instagram. They ask you, like, hey, what what, did, what was your favorite, not the song, what was the song of the year that year that you were born and the month that uh-huh. you were born, right? Right. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. What, what, do you, what song was your favorite from your birth year? Now that, uh, yeah. There was a lot, actually. Um, Could you pick four or three of them? <laughs> I know some of them are controversial now because of Diddy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can- what? Yeah. Uh, there, uh. Um, I'll be fair. Um, I can't, I don't even know if I can even, like, it's not even cur- controversial reasons. It's like seven songs from my birth year, and it's more likely, it's like, because there was so much songs released. At there that. was, and even your time, there was in 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 like the whole thing. I'm saying it's like, I my brain thinks everywhere. It's like it's in America, Thailand. Even the fact there's an artist named uh, Kratos. He's from uh, Britain. He released mm-hmm. his very first album in my birthday. I just found that out recently. I was like. When he released it on the day, and it's like the day I was born, I'm like, some of the songs they smack, they do smack a bit, but it's like, uh, and the way I found them, it was during uh, a Chinese commercial. I was like, oh wow, this person's really big, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, well, that will be all I have to share with you from '94, mm-hmm. and I'll, like I said, I will remember to put the stuff of what was released from your birthday of. Either is it just anime or is there more? Um, I feel like it's like you got you got it on the money with all the animes. Uh, cause that's something I specifically was like I was always curious, but I never like until Instagram tells me like, hey, do this on your birthday. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Um, uh, but that is something interesting to know. I oh, uh, because again, you unlocked a bunch of poor stuff. I'm just like, man, I should really go watch Case Closed again. Um, yeah, you maybe realize it's just like I should watch a bunch of older animes on my free time. Uh, I feel like the newer animes right now are just 
kind of iffy. So I'm just going back yeah. and watching old stuff. And I was like, like right. oh, yeah, the Detective Conan was on my list because I started it when I was little, but I never finished it. Just like how I never finished like uh, Full Mother Brotherhood. I'm just like, wait, I <laughs> missed a couple stuff. <laughs> So that's all good. Um, but, I was wondering, like, are you watching? Like, I'm not saying this is like a controversial thing because I watch them in both. Uh, is mm-hmm. like you're watching like Detective Conan in the English or in the the OG, like the original Japanese version? Uh, I'm watching in dub. I gotta. It's so hard to watch stuff in Japanese right now, only because right. of just like again being dyslexic and you gotta read subtitles. I'm just like, yeah, it's all good, but um. Yeah, that that will be it for uh your celebration of your 30th birthday. Mm-hmm. And now I'll be getting into my shout out. So see you later. Bye bye. I hope you all enjoy the Zip Blicky special for my 109th episode. And on that note, I want to say happy late birthday to my mom. It's her 61st birthday. And on that note, Happy late 23rd anniversary to Flame as well. And for the shout outs that we got is for not just Zip Blicky, but also we have one for Jamie Snowden and Self94. And then for the rest of the shout outs we got is Jam Reacts, Endurel Reacts, King Black Knuckles, Star Storm Animation, Keats, Claudito, One Nation Hip Hop TV, Colbert, Nicholas Namulus, Moopyverse, Nicholas Light and Dark TV, Risa Root, Freebird JP, Paul Claire, Alan Tajako, AZ Mutcap, The Chris Lotus, Juyuna, Big Slap Johnson, Righteous Robot, Split, Jeremy Harris Video Works, Exo Zero, Mustadon Task, Naz, Zazara, Childish Juju, and JL Coleon. As you all know, I'm wearing the podcast shirt, but it's just me, Edo, for Podcast Edo is still editing some stuff for his podcast. And along with Storytime Edo, editing for also the Edo promo channel. So as you know, thank you all for watching. New stuff will be coming in soon. And like usual, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. I hope you all enjoy this special for my 109th video of Ziki. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's good bloopers. All right. Hello, everyone. It's podcast animal. <laughs> oh, my brain. I bet. No, it's okay. That's, all right. Here we go. What is? Oh wait. Excuse me. They have asked. Happy birthday! You are turning sixty years old. That oh no no no! My mom is turning sixty-one. She's turning 61? Yes. My mom had me in her 30s. Oh, don't worry. I I was a 30... I was a 30-year-old child as well. Um, Hold on. Let me do this correctly. (laughs) Because this is going to get me in trouble. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, wait. (laughs) I know black parents. I know black parents. I know black parents. Hold on. I got to... Hold on. You got this. You got this. Okay. (laughs) It's okay. I don't want you all to get mad at you like, what do you think you that I'm safety? Okay, you're still young. Try the birthday message again. Um, happy birthday. Um, you, wait, 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 wait. You got this. Let me, let me do it. Righteous robot. Righteous robot. 
Koi, Bean, and Digimon, but also now, also keep in mind, I know you guys kind of wonder if I have the podcast shirt on. Yeah, this is just me, Edo4, uh, oh, wait, <laughs> My tracking, my tracking is a little off, so if, if I look really down, it's not because I, I'm Right, right, like, right, it's just, you got this, you got, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> it's okay, I, I can edit it, it's, it's all good. Oh, okay, okay. Also um, a little bit for bloopers too, not the whole okay. thing, but just, you know. <laughs> yeah, um.